Yo ho ho ho, good morning YouTube. So I really just woke up and had a bit of a realization about like, you know, work ethic and how to just go about daily activities. I don't think that having a whole ritual and routine, right? When you wake up, I need to do, you know, like a workout, run a mile, meditate and journal for three hours and then do that to like be an entrepreneur, to be successful. That's gonna make like an individual docile and weak. It's like for remote systems automation. Hello everyone, my name is SLC. I just woke up recently and wanted to make this YouTube video with a lot of value and content for everyone. Um, folk routine, everything. I, I recommend chaos consistently. Um, it is within that discomfort and chaos that we grow the fastest. So consistently seeking discomfort, waking up and immediately dialing a real estate agent and just, hey, I woke up and immediately doing cold calls, I think is super important just to shock your personality, shock how you woke up. Cause it doesn't really matter what time you wake up. It's more about like what you do right when you wake up. And I think for remote systems automation, what's kind of nice is it removes that nervous anxiety feeling for cold calls, you could say, because what's nice about remote systems automation is like, like the people that are going through the system that I set up. It's like they watch the video, they go on the landing page, they learn about all the information, and then the phone number or email will show up on my call list. Does that make sense? So like instead of having to reach out and then like search up all these different numbers because of my landing page and stuff, like the numbers show up on my call list, then I can filter out and find those numbers in LinkedIn, find those numbers in Slack, find those numbers or even emails on different platforms. So Upwork, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, Marketplace, um, Linktree, uh, you know, many different platforms that help with remote systems automation. Then I can go on that number. So like, let's say if it was, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, eight, nine, ten, and then that number, I would find it in the system, let's say LinkedIn, the LinkedIn profile would take me to the person's profile. Like you can find people's, you know, uh, profile, their profession with just the phone number nowadays. I can find out someone's whole identity with just their email or phone number. So if that's the case, then for correct clients or for warmer, better lead, like better leads, better high, higher ticket clients is to have that email or, or phone call list kind of filter and sort through them, say, hey, who are my, my most qualified clients? Go on their profiles, like tap on the phone number, search it up on LinkedIn, go look at their profile. Are they a real estate agent? Do they have like, you know, 40 plus employees? They've been in the business for 10, 15 plus years. Those are the kind of clients we want because they already have an established business. Now all we gotta do is dissect and find the systems that are inefficient to fix them. So for example, an, an on-client boarding process for a real estate agent could be, hey, I'm looking for a house. The real estate agent kind of has to talk to the individual and walk them through, through from wanting to buy a house, to going to the bank, to getting the loan, to figuring out who the tenant is, to sign the contract. All of these things are part of real estate. It's confusing, right? So with remote systems automation, as a real estate agent, you just send your client to your website. The client watches, you know, maybe two or three videos that are very warm, welcoming. Say, hey, welcome to real estate. Welcome to what we do. We have locations in, you know, Florida, Miami, Tampa Bay, uh, LA, uh, New York, wherever places. Then the client or the person that wants to buy a house, go on the website, see the deal. You know, see the apartment, see the place, see all the pictures that by the time they get on the phone with the actual estate agent, they already know what they want. They're educated on the topic and they're more sure of the decisions they want to make. Using automation, the real estate agent, the real estate agent doesn't even need to be there because we've set up systems and automation that allow, you know, the individual or the customers to go through the process seamlessly. So then actuality, the entrepreneurs or business owners even have less work to do because automation is doing all the work for us, right? So um, earlier I was saying like, you know, be aggressive, go after your goals, like go after your dreams. Don't be docile, be aggressive, offense, 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 offense. 
you know, reinvest in ourselves as entrepreneurs, just books, 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 courses, 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 educate, 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 edu educate, you know? So all my fellow entrepreneurs, good luck out there, guys. And we will talk and I will see you guys.